Big yawns. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. <clears throat> I'm back on my phone because I've done something with my GoPro at some point in time this morning, last night. Mm, can't find it. Got the SD card. Don't know where the GoPro is. Anyway, I'm leaving um, my OT, my occupational therapy for the day. And uh, check it out. I got some. Oh. Oh yeah, get you some of that. Get you some of that. Not allowed. Not allowed. I just not allowed to move my arm that far anymore. So y'all just call me Iron Man from here on out. I'm a little. Oops, can't say that on YouTube. Um, I'm a cyborg. Yeah, pretty much. Um, possibly gonna be doing a custom elbow brace, jointed elbow brace from Don Joy, depending on insurance and all that nonsense and what I would have to pay, because, you know, YouTube's not paying me anything, and uh, neither is anybody else, and I am quickly running out of money. But that's okay. Things will change, things will get better, one day at a time. Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the house and uh, let the dogs out probably start working on that uh getting those shelves up so i'll see you on a bit baby lock it in the place oh gypsy get off me go baggy 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 go Whew. but stop it gypsy jesus put you up one more there we go and I want to hit set. It's about four degrees shy of my total mobility, which is fine because I don't want to be busting off that calcification and undoing any of the work we've done. I don't have to wear it 24 seven, although it is comfortable and I don't mind it. Moose, go away. Um, if I'm out, out and about or doing anything on the farm, any chance of me putting too much pressure on that elbow. Yes, this arm is, is non-weight bearing. I'm not supposed to be doing anything with it, but there's sometimes you really don't have much of an option. Um, it's nothing heavy, but then again, rather be sick than sorry. But it is, I've worn it all day. I don't mind it. It's a little cumbersome to get into my jacket, especially because it's 20... 27, 27 whole degrees outside. And, uh, but it's worth living with. It's fine. And I'm gonna get those shelves put up tonight. Now that everything's done, I'm gonna get some dinner and then work on those shelving brackets and get those up. Yeah, and uh, that's it, I'll see you in a minute. Hey y'all, so this isn't finished obviously yet, but this is what I'm working on. These are shelving brackets, they're more, they're not traditional really. Oh, give me one second. So they're not really a traditional shelf per se, but they most definitely are gonna accomplish the look that we're going for and what we're wanting. These are John Sterling Heavyweight Diamond Plate Series Shelves and Brackets. They have these, I think, up to 70 inches. These are 45 inch. Don't mind my little compression sleeve there. I'm trying to keep the swelling out of my hand. But these are 45 inch and I have these here are 14 inch so it'll hold a 14 inch shelf on the bracket itself with a 500 pound weight capacity which is going to be more than what we will ever use <clears throat> and then you said i'm just i've got a two foot level and i'm lining it up the studs are 16 inches on center so i'm just lining it up on a stud 
putting a line on it, drilling a hole, and I'm holding this guy up, running the screw through it, I level it out, put the bottom one in, and then uh, I'll have one side done. And that's it. I'm not gonna bore y'all with the entire process of me putting them up and trying to make them fit. Because this is probably not what you want. So I'm gonna put this up here. And if she doesn't like it, I can move it. I can change it. Move it down one, whatever. Thanks for tuning y'all. See y'all later.